guys, today I'm going to fit the head on this wildebeest skeleton. Um, here's the head, it was prepared earlier in a earlier clip, uh, attaching the jaw and the teeth. Um, the last bone on the spine, which is the atlas bone, which sits onto the skull. This does allow a lot of movement, not only that way, but also this, this way, or for the head. So you can position the head uh, quite well, just, just from this bone alone. Um, I'm going to be having the head more or less on this angle. So I'm aiming to get the, the atlas uh, bone more or less in line 90 degrees to these two bars that are coming out of the spine and up from the vertical support bar. So the first thing I'm going to do is just uh, pop that bone on and then I'm going to, these need trimming obviously because they're way too long to go into that head. So I'm going to just measure, I'm just going to poke a bar in at the angle that I want the head and the angle that they're in. I'm going to poke a bar in to see where it touches the skull. So a comfortable point would be there. So to the bottom of the skull, I've got that much bar. I'm now going to transfer that measurement from where the bottom of the skull sits in this bone. So that would be about there. I'll mark this with a, a piece of tape, then I know where I'm cutting. The tape that's there already is literally uh, just holding those two bars together temporarily. Um, I'm going to cut this with a cutting wheel and a Dremel, so there will be some sparks flying in a minute. Um, I'll show you my safety goggles, here are my safety goggles. That's the way to avoid sparks going in your eyes. So I'll put my safety goggles on when I start grinding. So be careful if you're going to grab a hold of that. I'm just going to get my more grips on this. And then a pair of pliers just to tease off the ends. I could go a bit more with a cutting disc. these will be to some degree a little bit sharp um, because I don't want sharp bars jutting into the back of the skull although I've cut them just short the back of the skull I'm still going to just put some tape around these and this is just uh, electricians PVC tape so I'm going to tape the bars tape up the bars And then a generous amount on the end. I'll fold it back over and round again and back over and round again. You can actually build up a quite a soft cushion on the bar. If your skull is going to rest on the bar it's a good idea to make a nice soft cushion for it to sit on. Um, there's different ways of doing, doing that but 
this is a, a quick and easy way that works. So that now is to the right length. It's not necessarily to the right shape. I'm going to bend that in a minute if I need to. First, I'm going to do a, a dry fit with the skull. So I've got my atlas bone back on. I'm going to drop that in. And now I can see the head is hanging just slightly lower than I wanted it. When the atlas bone is fixed down in position, that will actually lift up a little bit. So at the moment, this bone is pivoting. So when that bone is fixed, that will lift the head a little bit. So what I'm gonna do now, it's not far out, so I'm gonna go ahead and fix on the atlas. It's quite a meaty bone, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna glue around the surface area where it touches, and I'm also going to pin. So down with the cloth to catch any drips from the glue. And this glue I'm going to use now is gel, so it's very, very thick compared to the others. Um, so I'm going to pop that just around the surface there. So it's a nice thick glue that will fill up the holes quite nicely so so while I'm holding that in position I've got the gel up there, I'm going to apply uh, some amount of filling into that. That's going to hold that up just at the right place while well, I pack a little bit of the bone dust up into there. gel does take quite a bit longer to set than the ordinary glue so just bear that in mind the glue as you see is very very thick um, now because I've got a heavy skull I'm going to drill two pins through the atlas bone uh, quite strong pins I'm using three millimeter so I'm looking at where my but I don't want to drill through the bone, so I'm drilling into the bone at the thickest point. So one here. Small amount of glue because it's a very tight fit. And then into the bottom we go.
and I'm going to repeat that at this side now. When you do it like this, if that pin is just inside the hole, it doesn't leave a sharp edge. And you can always fill over that with a, a little bit of milliput or something. Now, I need to um, just check this bar again. I think I'm gonna have to drop it a little bit and just put a little bend on the bar. Uh, use, I use spanners for leverage, um, so I can bring this down. It's quite soft, but still, when you get two together, it's very, very strong. Before I bend upwards, I'm going to try the skull, because it may be that that's a really good fit. So that's just a little bit too head down for, for the look I was going for, although it is a natural position for this animal. I want to try and just lift it up just a little bit. So I'm going to bend just the end. I'm going to bend just the, just the end of it up. This is always quite tricky. Uh, you can, I've got a, a, a bigger tube, but I've not got it here. So some split workshops at the moment but if you've got a bigger tube you can just put a tube over the end and use that to uh, give you more leverage Now we've got just enough of a, a flip up on there for the skull to sit nicely. So that now I'm quite happy with. And the only thing to do now is to fit um, a pin or two pins into the skull to stop it from falling off, although it's not really going to fall, there's a lot of weight to this, it's quite a sturdy thing, but it does need lifting up over that lump, but um, I'll pin this once it's moved to its location, purely uh, because they're quite hard to get out again. Um, and I will be moving it with the head off because it's a lot lighter with the head off. Um, and don't forget, if you build the base, how I build the base is in my earlier clip, there's two little casters at the back. And the reason for this is, 
if you need to move a skeleton on your own, you just have to lift the front very slightly and it'll wheel. It's so easy to move. Whereas if you have if you have to move the whole animal by yourself, it's going to be quite tricky. Um, so that's the reason for fitting the little casters at the back. So there's the blue wildebeest. Hope you've enjoyed the build. Um, and remember to subscribe and look out for future videos.